And before we get into the video, make sure you check out my Twitch at Adverse Archer 76 But anyways, let's get straight into the video. And welcome to a new video today. We are doing a career mode on FIFA 20. And as you already know, well, you probably already know the team it is by the title. Um, if you don't know, I'll tell you in a minute. Let's just get in customizations of our manager. Um, first, putting a name in, Adverse Archer, because I am Adverse Archer, obviously. And now, let's customize it. See, this is the first time I've been on career mode. And I love how they've got customizations now. Because I can make this manager look a little bit like me, hopefully. We got all the um, skin variations, all the hat variations, hair variations. It's um, it's great how they've done this. Now, should should I put a hat on? I do wear hats myself. Wait, this is her colour. Oh, you can have blue and green hair and pink. Oh, nice one. I'm going to really love enjoying customising my manager. But no, I'm not, I'm not going to put a hat on. We're going to give him some similar hair to me. What's the closest one though to mine? Yeah, 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 that works. And as much as I do like the, the big the little beard there, makes it look good. I personally have a moustache. So we're going to let him have a moustache and now he looks like an Italian Mafia man. <laughs> but anyway, what shirt in that should we wear? Ooh. I'm going to wear that boy one. That looks good, navy boy. With the black... Um, Blazer on. But I think we're just going to go with this black one. The black top with the blazer and the nice tie that will suit the team we're managing. And I think this polka dot one completely suits the team we're doing socks well that doesn't really matter but we'll put some black socks on anywhere shoes wise I don't really think it matters so I'll leave that now and advance and now let's get into the team we are doing we are going to be in the Premier League and we are going to be no other than Aston Villa because I just feel like not getting many wins they spent money they're basically doing it for them so we'll do a career mode on them until January and then on I will do another career mode which I'll tell you later on but for now, let's focus on this career mode and let's get into it, yeah? Right, so, I'm not really sure what I want to get yet. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just having a little look at how it's all set up this career mode. Because I haven't watched any, really anyone do a career mode on YouTube. Um, I'm not being on career mode myself yet. So it's interesting. We've also got fifty seven million to spend, which I think is more than enough for us to spend this season. Cause it do really look like we need much. 
maybe a centre back for left back or right back, maybe a midfielder or two, some depth. Um, but anyways, the people who I want to sell, probably gonna let Jared Steer go, Nyland go. Probably could keep Kalinic. Taylor probably can go. Uh, we'll keep Target. He's nice and young. We can develop him more. Chester we might keep. Solomon and Raven we could keep. Conda I might sell. And I'll warn these two. I might sell Conda. I kind of want to keep Conza out of them all. But I'm just going to put them all on chance for the list to just see what offers I get for them. El Mohamedi is another one I want to sell. Clark and that can go out on loan. Lansbury can go um, put him out on loan, put him out on loan, oh, we'll try and put him out on loan anyway, just to try and develop them, well there's that player potential, Tingy that's the, um, but yeah, get some soul so we can get some money in to buy who we want to buy, and um, let me know if you want to see me do the training, like watch the players, but for now I'm not going to do that, show you. Right, I'm going to go for Nacho, like, sorry Brighton, but I think I'm going to go for Nacho, he's nice and cheap, I can have him just for the season, which is all I want him for anyway, until I can hopefully improve target, a little bit high rated, and then he can go and start an 11, but we're off at 8 mil. Okay, they only want a 4% bonus. We can accept that and get him into this club. Right, um, I mean, he actually seems solid. He's 77 rated at 30. He seems great. As a nice, cheap, reliable one you could probably get if you wanted someone cheap and reliable. If you were doing like a cream of that championship player or one of the low rated Premier League teams then probably pick this one up. Um three year contract, definitely. Don't wanna give him too big of a contract. Um except that don't wanna give him a release clause. Now he gets seventeen point five K a week. So we probably could just put it 22 and then just give him a little signing bonus. Oh wow, he wants 29k a week and a bigger signing bonus. And you know what, I'm just going to accept that because it's not like we're going to spend all that money. So that's fine. But the next person I do want to sign is a right back. And I know we've got Gilbert, but I think the Marcos would be great. Because he's also a right winger. So, Demarcos would be fantastic to get. And it looks like we could be getting him. And we do. Demarcos is in. Nacho is in. Brilliant. Don't really need to sign anywhere else now. Just some, just some more like, for depth really now. Um, we can now put them in the start, you know, 11, and, I mean, the squad isn't looking too bad, actually. I think we could definitely get top 15, maybe top 10 with this team. I'm hoping top 10. In reality, I'm hoping a Europa League spot for this team. And I'm hoping of what these players develop to at least 80 rated, at least. And for now, I'm actually going to put Gilbert 
at um, a centre-back role. He can play centre-back. He's high enough rated. I think it'd be great. He's got a bit of pace on him. And um, we will get a centre-back eventually, but until we do, I think we could keep Gilbert there. Some scouting reports and a transfer offer for Taylor that we will probably accept just to bring in a bit of more money. Yeah, might as well. Now, we could get Vestergaard. I don't know yet if to accept that or not. Because there's a lot more better options we can choose from. I've right, got lots more skating reports now for players I am looking at. There's a one off as well. That, I mean, yeah, we'll just accept. Right, let's get into the training. But yeah, again, let me know if you do want to see this. I watch it all the time if you don't want me to see it. But it's sad that Davis gets an F. He's a young striker. I want to get him up and he can't go up if he's getting Fs. Taylor store oh, sorry. Taylor is sold, um Stair is sold and some more scouting reports have come back for me. Now the calendar I just want to show you I will be playing this Tottenham game. And then I'm just gonna send it forward by the way. I'm gonna play the Tottenham game and then we're gonna leave it. For episode 2 where I play at like, 2 of the matches and a sim 1. So the rest of August will be done for episode 2. But for now, we're getting the transfers in. Getting transfers out. And um, getting that first match over and done with. And I can probably accept that. But I'm not, I'm going to delegate it to see if we can get a little bit more money out. Do some more training. That's better, that's what you want to see. A B, a C and a triple A. You want your players to get a higher rate, especially when they're young. Well, a transfer offer for Davis. I am not letting him go because I want to try and develop him into a worthy bench striker to come off like a super sub almost. And he's actually gone up to 66 getting that air. That's great. Right, now we are going... To attend our first ever press match conference. And let's see what questions we get. Because I would really do like how they've done this. Okay. Um, so I hope does the pre-season impact with our first competitive match. Um... We must learn from our mistakes. No, I don't care that that puts them around down. That is something that I would say. And I'm going off what I would say. You know, not just what will bring up the morale. I want to say what I would say. Can the team remain clear of the low end table? The squad is capable. And it is. It really is capable of getting like top 10 in that. Um. Mm -hmm. 
what do you expect from his debut against Spurs? Well then, um, be good for the team. Now, but he'll prove he's the right man for the job because he is. He's gonna prove he's the right man for the season at left back. Well, until target increases. But anyway, guys, we are going to get straight into this Tottenham match now. Let's get into it, boys. Right. So we are just seconds away from going into this Tottenham match. And can I just say, it is truly broken because the team's bad. Oh, they're on the break. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, my God. What a save by Tom Heaton. I just couldn't defend her. Okay, passing it round. We can maybe three ball this. We can get Wesley into it. Can we make a pass? No, not where I wanted it to go. Okay, we're on the ball again. We can three ball that to, who was it, McGinn? Get it to Wesley. Back heels it. Oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, but we've got it back. Come on, Algarzi, what can you do? And Walker Peters absolutely destroys you there. Oh, he's done me. Oh, Algarzi's through. He puts it through to Wesley. Wesley's one on one with the keeper. Oh, my God, he's dragged it wide. How have I done that? Well, how's Wesley done that? All I did was shoot, and he's dragged it. Oh. Oh, yes. Come on. It's through. And he shoots, and he scores. Let's go. Get in. And we have made it 1-0 versus Tottenham. El Ghazi with the first of this career mod. Let's go. Oh, we could be getting a second here. Nope, we cannot. They're pushing well, though, trying their best to get this first goal. Oh, no. They give it to Skip to Edwards. Come on, I just need to defend this better. Oh, yeah, good one, Heaton. Good save. Actually, thank God he saved it. Because I think I was a bit screwed there. I just don't know what's happening. I just, it just seems I can't defend yet. But then again, I, just, I need to learn, learn the game more. Because it does, it does take a while to learn this game. We could be on for a second actually here. Put it through to McGinn. To McGinn. Yes, let's go. 2 0 before half time. Let's go, boys. Right, I don't know what. Wait, actually, wait. Oh no, I brought it through. I tried to pass it, but it bounces straight back to me. And then I put it through to make it 2 0. Let's go. In fact, it's going to be half time in a minute, isn't it? Yep, and it's half time. Let's go. 2 0 up. Right, we are in the second. And now all I'm doing is making mistakes. What was the touch from? I don't know who it was. It might have been John McGinn. Oh, why am I going to slide it in there? No. Defend. Oh, what a save by Tom Eaton. He saved us again in this game. It could have been, they could have actually had three. They could have been three, two to Tottenham. Oh my God, I just can't defend it. It's gone through everyone and they've scored. To make it 2-1. There was literally four around him. I don't even want to look at that. There was four around him. I couldn't tackle him. Oh my god. Go 
Right, come on. We need to get another Mary now. They're putting the pressure on us again. They've put it over. Give that to Tommy and honestly they are pushing for the second. And I need to try and get a third, which we could get here, boys. Trezeguet crosses it. Oh, not a good cross. That was really not a good cross. Oh, oh no. Damn, I thought Trezeguet could have got that. Oh, come on, the camber. To Wesley. Wesley shoots. Oh, he saved. We could have made it three there. Crosses it in. Oh, just can't do anything. Crosses it in again. On the end. Oh, come on. No, I just can't pass. Just can't seem to pass or do anything now. Oh, and by the way, they have brought Son and Harry Kane on, so it is proper piling pressure on me now. I feel like they're just going to get like a last minute goal to make it 2 2 and stop me from getting their first win in this game. I don't know actually. The Marcos is here, he crosses it. Oh, so close again! Right? Come on, Jota. Oh, what is Douglas Luiz doing? Go forward a bit more. But we do get the win. 2 1 against Tottenham. Thank God we won that. That was tough, that second half. It really was. But, anyways, we're going to do the post match conference now. Well, post match interview, sorry. How happy are you with the first win under your belt as Aston Villa's manager? There's more to come, the lads give me 100%, there's a lot more to do. There's more to come, because there is, there definitely is. The more I win this game, the better players I get as well, the better players grow. There's definitely more to come. Oh, Dan, let me read it out. What, what do you think? Wait, so what do you make of such a disappointing debut? Expectations are high. I mean, they are. Like, you're expecting a 30 year old left back to at Astonville to do well all the time, especially in his debut. You know, he might have nerves. And Demarco said, yeah, what could I ask him of, for him? He was great, Demarcos, getting crosses in and everything. But anyways, training, training, and a bit more training. And for the third time in a row, Davis gets an A, which is amazing. I really do hope he progresses further. But anyway, guys, this is the end of episode one. If you did enjoy, a like. Don't forget to subscribe. But first, um, please let me know what strikers you want to get. Because I do want to get another striker. And maybe two. Between these three. Maybe two of them. So, anyway, yeah. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. Subscribe. Until the next time, it is your boy, Adversarchers76. And I will see you soon.